It is Goodwill Ben's Day. I have not been here in a month, maybe. What will we find? I have no idea, but we're going to venture into the deep sea of the blue bins and hopefully we will come out winners. We start off strong. I found this bag of puzzles and a turkey. So stay tuned at the end to see what type of puzzles they actually were. They're vintage, my favorite kinds. Books, books, lots of books. These were from Goodwill. And then I found this, a vintage Furby with the tag, he went in my bag. So yes, uh, you can see the Goodwill stickers. So these came directly from the Goodwill store. Counting Crows, August and Everything After, probably one of my favorite albums, top five. Saw them in concert, that came home with me. Things at the bins either come directly from the donations or they're leftovers from the Goodwill store. And you can identify the leftovers from the tags. And nine times out of 10, it's going to be cheaper at the bins versus buying at the Goodwill store. Christmas trees, they're, it's, a, it's one of the casualties of shopping at the bins. You gotta move heavy things, cumbersome things, things that probably should not be in the bins, but you never know. That makes it fun. The digging, finding. We have a snoring bear. This was vintage, but it was only the busted box, so not a winner for me. So we're back at the shelved item, Easy Rider. I saw this movie in college. Fun fact, I took a Beatles class and this is one of the movies that we watched in it. That's a good movie. Well, this is a nice tile. Settlement? This is made in an Indian settlement. I'm gonna check that out just in case. Chia pet Barack Obama. Lots of different little things. Niagara Falls, souvenir. Uh, I want to say that's a toothpick holder, but I don't think so. Oh my gosh, the, that brings back memories from family events. Clothes, I just usually, I mean, I'll look, but I always say I'm going to come here and like shop for my clothes, but that, that's a, just an all day event. There's a lot of stitch, someone must have donated their stitch collection. This is actually a Disney stitch, I'll have to look at that one see what we have. I'm sure these have all been looked through, but you still might be able to find something for yourself. Like this top. This looks like it's a little dirty back here. What is it? Harvick Martinsville. I'm assuming it's probably not a good t-shirt to resell or else the T-shirt guys would have grabbed it. I don't know. How much do you want? Looks like it's a Christmas bin, but nothing for you. Finding the right bin. All these pens, these pens are everywhere. Top sockets. Oh my gosh, look at these. All right, we gotta get this. 
Those are adorable. Mickey? These are great. I gotta go look at this bin again. I gotta grab. So we're gonna get this, this, this. This one, this one, this one. The stickers. This is amazing. I usually go to the Goodwill bins for fun. It is a great place to source, but it is more of a treasure hunt for me just to see what I can pull out of the bins. And what did I pull out today? For starters, I found this. It is a tile. I wasn't sure of the history, wasn't sure what it was worth, but it looked interesting enough for me to put it in my bag. Doing a little bit of history, trying to decipher what was printed on the back, I actually found out that it is a souvenir item made from the late 1950s to early 1960s that was available for purchase at the, excuse my pronunciation, Miskoike Indian Settlement in Iowa. So it was probably in a little shop and as tourists would come through, they could take a piece of the settlement home with them. The interesting fact about these tiles that were produced as souvenir items, there's actually one on display at the National Museum of the American Indian. I also found a box full of tags, Christmas tags. I picked up the ones that had a bit more vintage to them, still in the package, all unused, really fun finds. That whole bin was actually filled with Christmas, but the majority of it was new, so I passed on that, but I did pick up the tags. So I'll probably hold on to these until a little bit before the Christmas season and then list them on Etsy then. I just think they're cute, they're functional, whether you're going to use them for your gift giving or use them in your crafting and junk journals. Then I found this guy, a Furby baby. It was just laying on top. Oh no, I think it was underneath um, an article of clothing, but a fun find. It would have been even better if this little guy would have worked, but I put in new batteries and alas, it does not. I do remember some of the sayings that they used to say. The Furby babies are smaller than the actual Furby and prices on them range anywhere from $25 to $40, $50. If it is in the original box, it can get around perhaps $70 to $80 on eBay. Another fun find from my childhood, we have this Ghostbusters a sticker book. The stickers have been used, they've been put on the last page, but the inside tells the story of the Ghostbusters. Now Ghostbuster items, because of the new movies that came out, uh, they have another resurgence of collectors. So other vintage Ghostbuster items like the toys, shirts, etc. They do rather well online. This guy is a no-go um, because of the wear and because the stickers have been used, but I purchased it because I can use it for perhaps a 1980s party as a part of the decor or just enjoy a piece of my childhood again. There was a bag that had puzzles in it and also a, um, a honeycomb turkey. Two puzzles. We have a Cabbage Patch Kids puzzle and then the Grover trying to be a waiter puzzle. These are older and they aren't worth anything. I think someone has the Grover puzzle listed for $2 on eBay, or maybe that's a Cabbage Patch Kids puzzle. But again, just fun finds from the 1980s, perfect for a 1980s themed party. Put it out, let people play with it, frame it, do whatever you want with it. It's just great pieces of nostalgia. And when you can buy them for pennies on the dollar, why not? I hope you enjoyed my little trip to the bins. I'll be going back again, hopefully soon, to see what else we can find, whether to resell or just enjoy pieces of the past.